What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Gotzi for the Sports Beat Network. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. Tonight, guys, we're here talking about the San Diego Padres and the Oakland Athletics as these two teams agreed to a deal that would send catcher Derek Norris to the San Diego Padres in exchange for Jesse Hahn and RJ Alvarez. Now, this is a big deal for the San Diego Padres, who just today has just been the subject of you know a lot of interesting rumors because the Matt Kemp uh, deal is at a complete halt right now he does have arthritis in both areas of the, uh, in both areas of his body and that is a big big problem for the San Diego Padres because they dealt a nice handful of prospects over to the Los Angeles Dodgers to help strengthen their farm system but when you really look at it the Padres over the course of the past 42 hours you know has been you know making a lot of big deals and a lot of big trades been going on for this Padres squad and you know, this team has completely cleared out their catcher's position. You know, they traded away Rene Rivera in that big three-team deal in order to get Will Myers from the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, they traded away um, Yasmani Grandal. So this team has really, you know, backed themselves into a big corner on who's going to be their opening day starting catcher. You know, it was just, you know, just today. Now we do have that answered, and that is going to be Derek Norris as he's coming over from the Oakland Athletics. Now Derek Norris last year had an impressive year. I like what what I saw from Derek Norris as he's still a rising catcher in Major League Baseball. You know, he's only been he's only been at the Major League level, you know, full time just for uh, two seasons. So um, he's still, you know, on the rise his stats from you know the seasons prior um 2014 was his big year you know he batted 270 to uh 10 home runs 55 rbis a great defensive catcher so you're getting a you know a multi-tool player you know he can come with the power bat um his average is where you want it to be so i'm okay with that you know i can take the 10 home runs and the 270 average if you're getting an excellent defensive catcher and that is what Derek norris is, is, is all about so that's a big addition there going over to the Oakland Athletics. This is also a team that's kind of in that rebuilding phase, if you want to call it that. Um, the Padres uh, have been dealing a lot of their, you know, pitching prospects. R.J. Alvarez and Jesse Hahn is exactly that. You know, Jesse Hahn is likely to go into a rotation at some point with Oakland at, at some point within the next couple of years. You can also look at R.J. Alvarez becoming a primarily uh, bullpen-based pitcher because when you look into the bullpen of the Oakland Athletics, it's not as strong as it once was. Um, there there was a lot of there's a lot of you know problems at the back end of the rotation. This is also a team that is very is at slacking a legitimate ace within their rotation. You know, Sonny Gray is legitimately their number one starter, uh, followed by Scott Casimir, Gerard Parker, AJ Griffin. This team is losing you know a, a big a lot of their you know their pitching. So they really need to revamp this pitching staff and in, in, in this pitching and really get something going. So this pitching staff is really having to deal you know with the you know subtraction of John Lester and because he is such a big addition to that team just last year even though they did not go all the way into the you know the playoffs this was the biggest problem in Oakland is their pitching. You know, Sonny Gray had a down year last year. Scott Casimir had a lot of success last year. Gerard Parker was injured last year. AJ Griffin was injured last year. So there's a lot of questions within this Oakland Athletics pitching, you know, rotation and also in their bullpen. You know, the, the inconsistency in their bullpen, it really did hurt this team a whole lot. So um, the Oakland Athletics are, you know, in that rebuilding phase and trying to get as much as they can in order to, you know, get back to the old athletics baseball just a couple of years ago winning the division so this team has a lot of a lot of faith going forward a lot of promise going forward you know with the additions of RJ Alvarez and Jesse Hahn I think they'll be great you know, two excellent pickups for this Oakland Athletics squad going into the immediate future now when you really go into the San Diego Padres point of view like I said you know the Padres have been you know dealing a way too much just to acquire you know big names you know Derek Norris is you know he, he's a big name but he's not officially worth two prospects two MLB ready prospects in RJ Alvarez and Jesse Han. Yes, I like Derek Norris a whole lot, but he's honestly not worth those two prospects. So I think the San Diego Padres, you know, over traded just to get Derek Norris. I think the Padres are at that desperate phase right now to find on who's going to be their starting catcher for 2015. But now that you do have Derek Norris on your roster, what does that mean as your backup catcher? Because when you really look at it, the San Diego Padres do not or is, is not ready to call up, you know, Austin Hedges yet. Now Austin Hedges is their top prospect in their farm system right now but he is not MLB ready so the Padres are now having to go into you know 
teams farm systems um they're having to go into teams trying to discuss with teams that are willing to deal their backup catchers because the san diego Padres right now are not ready to call up austin hedges who's you know done a great you know a great deal of success you now in the farm system with san diego uh but you know he's he's not going to end up you know opening up the season as a team's backup i still think there's a lot of you know more production that austin hedges has to prove down in the farm system right now for san diego a very much depleted farm system so you know the Padres do have a lot of, on their you know on their plate going into their immediate future around you know 2020. What's their farm system going to look like then? Because they traded away Yasmani Grandal, who was you know going to be the face of this franchise at some point within the next two years. They traded him away. Rene Rivera was traded away. Um, he was a backup catcher. So this Padres team has no legitimate backup to back up Derek Norris with the addition of Derek Norris today. So there's there could potentially end up being another trade involved with San Diego, possibly within the end of this week or possibly going into the weekend I can expect San Diego to start calling teams back into the National League maybe around maybe they can start you know talking to the Milwaukee Brewers again I made a video just about a day ago talking about maybe that they should acquire Martin Maldonado as their starting catcher but Derek Norris is a much bigger a uh, much bigger name he packs a much meaner bat than Martin Maldonado Maldonado is an excellent defensive catcher maybe that he can be brought up in trade talks Seth Smith has been named has name has been brought up in multiple trade Talks. So the Padres do have to start opening up to teams a little bit and start thinking about trading away either Seth Smith or Cameron Maben because you know if you trade both of those guys, you can bring back a nice you know small package of prospects to try and balance this, this farm system out. This farm system has ultimately been depleted with all the trades that has gone down. You know you know R J Alvarez and Jesse Han were the two big names in um, the trade today um, and possibly over the course of the past couple of trades. So the San Diego Padres have really dug themselves into a big hole in their farm system. They really need a backup catcher, so there's a lot of holes left in San Diego that they've got to address very soon, so they cannot go into the 2015 draft and expect to, you know, find all the answers within that draft. They've got to start, you know, digging deep. They've got to start trading prospects for prospects, you know, try to strengthen up this farm system a little bit. Um, try to, you know, trade some of their, you know, small name prospects to get a couple of, you know, you know, players over to this team to help out. There's just so many holes right now in San Diego. I like the direction they're going with the addition of Derek Norris, with the addition of Matt Kemp. I like where they're going, but you know what? you got to build for your future. That is what you know. sports is all about, is building for your team's immediate future. You just can't be re-signing players and expect to win you know, year in and year out knowing that you know, you're not going to build a lot of success you know, with just that player. You've got to get help. You've know, you got to start you know, building some players. You've got to start doing that, and that's in where baseball, it's in your farm system. Austin Hedges is not ready yet. There's a lot of openings in their farm system that, that needs to be answered. So the San Diego Padres... Overall, I like what they're doing with the additions of Derek Norris and Matt Kemp, but like I said for the fifth time in this video, they've got to start building this farm system. They cannot address it in just the 2015 MLB draft. So let me hear your guys' opinion about this. Derek Norris is on his way to the San Diego Padres. My name is Justin Gotti for the Sports Beat Network. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Make sure you guys share this video. I would love to get you know everybody's response to this deal. I would love to hear from you guys. I'll catch you guys next time.